Creepers, I'm Danny from Coral and today is a quick update on a few things that I want to share with you guys. Um, last Saturday I was away, I was at the Maker Fair in New York, it's pretty awesome, it was at the Science Hall and it was indoors and outdoors and you could find a little bit of everything for anyone that's creative and likes to build stuff. From 3D printers to laser cutting to CNC machining to robots, drones. Um, I'm going to do a video on my coverage later on as soon as I get finished editing that for you guys. Um, also, the Predator tank, we got a nice big red carpet enemy in there with some clownfish and we got a nice Picasso trigger so I want to show you guys that as well. Um, the 1000 subscriber contest that just ended, I wanted to... I was debating on what to do, a couple people jumped in at the last moment and you know me and rules, I don't really like to follow rules too often so since I run the show, anyone who added their name at the end of the last day even after we got the thousand you are included in the contest and I'll be doing that drawing uh, later on this week hopefully tomorrow if I get around to it, but yeah that's my plan so I'm sure you guys want to see the tank in the back so let's go check it out um, oh you know what, I forgot to show you, one more thing I got this pretty sweet uh, carving of a mermaid that we're gonna hang up in the shop, so I haven't had a chance to do that yet. But that will be done pretty soon, so. Let me see how I do this. <clears throat> All right, so these things are set up finally. Um, this one was running, but it was leaking. It was sent to us with a bad seal. Um, what's new, right? Always something. And this one over here was sent with broken lights and wrong plumbing. So we're hopefully having enough water made to fill those up today. It takes a while. I can make about 150 gallons a day with this unit. Um, not that that's a problem, but I had no place to store all that water. So, and also I went through those cartridges pretty quick. I couldn't believe after making that water how quickly my DI depleted. So, um, I'm debating on now if I should take the Baba Worm out of that tank in the bottom and if I want to put them in the Predator tank. So, there is a Baba Worm hiding in here and that sand is pretty deep because it goes a couple inches to the floor. Um, there's some crazy corals for you. We're going to be at that frag swap in that pet place in Lancaster and that's our next one so if you guys are close to any of that area, PA Lancaster, make sure you come check it out. So hoping to have this water running today, I'm making salt as we speak and check it out. There is the carpet anemone. Now the glass still has the tape on it from the delivery, I haven't even cleaned it off yet. So. <laughs> like I said, I've been pretty busy. But check it out, man. That carpet is insane. And so is this trigger. Absolutely awesome. This fish does whatever he wants. He does not care. He will flip over a rock, look for food, um, dig in the sand. He's been pretty awesome so far. So that's why we have this tank, the Predator tank, as opposed to the reef tank over here, which is all safe and reef friendly and all that good stuff so so all right guys there's your update for now stay tuned i will have something for you later for tip tuesday